What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how to modify a ready-made KDP interior fast and free and with this brand new method. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you a brand new method for modifying ready-made KDP interiors. So if you get your interiors from Creative Fabrica and don't have Affinity Designer and things like that, this method is going to be perfect for you. Now, what is that? Well, it's using Canva. So Canva has just added a brand new feature where you can upload your PDFs to Canva. You can import or upload your PDF two ways. So I've got this open in a new tab. We're going to have a quick read. So let's just go to here. This is an early version, beta release of our PDF to design conversion feature. This is absolutely awesome, by the way, and we'll be improving it over time, depending on how you use it and your feedback. Now what to expect? You can import PDFs with up to 15 pages. So I've been playing around with this. We can actually upload with a minimum or maximum, should I say, of 100 pages. And if your PDF has both text and images, we will break them up for editing purposes. And if your PDF is a scan of documents or design, it can only be processed as a flat or merged image. Its text or design elements can't be broken up for editing. Now you can upload your PDFs two ways, and we're going to cover that in a second. Now what I've gone ahead and done is got a few different interiors just here. I've uploaded them into Canva so we can see what it looks like. Now, when you want to go and upload a PDF, you can come to here. So we go to create design and then right down here, import PDF, we can add this way or we can just do this. So we can take an interior and just drag it and drop it here on the home page. Now what I'm actually going to do is just delete this one because we're going to upload it again because there's a couple of things that I really want to cover. So let's go back to here. So like I said, you can add a PDF with a maximum of 100 pages. So we see this one just here is 110. If we take this and try and upload it here in Canva, it's not going to let us. So let it just do its thing for a second. It's just going to keep saying generating and then it's going to say failed. We can't upload interiors which have more than 100 pages as we can see that just here. But an easy way around that depending on the interior we can use ilovepdf.com forward slash remove pages. We could upload that into here just like so. We'll give that a second to do its thing as well and then if we come all the way down, so let's just do that all the way down to here, to around about 100 pages, we could then click on these. So we can just do that. Very, very simple, as you can see. Let's take these ones as well, like so. And then I'll just go to remove pages. And now I'd have a PDF, which is 100 pages just here. So if we look here on the left hand side, that's just about to download. There we go. We can now upload that because that has a minimum of 100 pages. So now I can just take that and drop it directly here within Canva. And now that's going to do its thing. And then we can go in and modify these ready-made templates. Now, one thing I do want to know really quick, and that is we've just reached 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube. Now, I can't thank you all enough for subscribing. It really means a lot. But we are actually having a 20k subscriber sale on all of our courses, which will end on Wednesday the 21st of July at 9pm GMT. So if this is something that you're interested in, click that link down in the description below. So back to here, we can now see that's uploaded. And now if we open this in a new tab, we can actually see what it looks like. Now I've actually gone ahead and uploaded this one, this one, 
and this one, just so we can take a quick look at them. So now I'm going to open all of them in a brand new tab. As soon as this has stopped playing around, there we go. So I'm going to open this one and this one, because not all interiors are created equally. So let me say that again, not all interiors are created equally. So with this one, this password logbook, you're limited to what you can change. So let's go back and find this over on Canva. There we go. So let's, in fact, let's just close this tab a little bit so we can have a better look. Now this has added this into images. So with this interior, if we go back down to here, all this is just one image. So this is what I mean when I say that not all interiors are created equally. Because if we go over to this one, this is the camping journal. If we find that just here, I uploaded that into Canva as well. And on here, if we look here and click on elements, we can actually start changing a few bits. So with this, the fonts just here, we can click on there. If it's going to let me, there we go. And we can actually change the font. It's the same too if we also scroll down and start taking a look through the interior, we can actually go in and change the fonts on some of these interiors, which is absolutely insane. That means you can download interiors on the fly over here on Creative Fabrica, especially if you have a Creative Fabrica membership, and then we can actually modify them now here within Canva. So that's the second interior that we took a look at. We can actually go through, start changing fonts, move bits around as well, so you can actually make your interiors really, really unique. Now the last one that we're going to take a look at was this one. So I uploaded this logbook as well here within Canva, and we can see, let's just get rid of that. There we go. We can see, we can actually go in and change the fonts on these interiors as well. So please remember, not every single interior that you download is going to have the option to actually go in and modify. Some of them are like this, where it's just a whole image, so you can't really do much with that, but you can add other elements to make that unique. But if we take a look at these ones, we can go in and start changing the fonts on some of these designs, which is absolutely awesome because remember, you shouldn't really be using graphics and things that you get from Creative Fabrica as is. It's always, always, always a much better choice if you can modify those designs. And now with this new Canva update, it has made things really, really easy to do. So this is just such an awesome update. You can modify ready-made KDP interiors on the fly and do some really great things. Now, another thing which I thought I'd check out was tangent templates, because here you get so many different types of interiors. You get the PDF, which means we can now upload these here in Canva as well. So I already went ahead and done that. I did the journal. So right here, I downloaded, if we scroll down to round about here, I downloaded this 100 pages bleed PDF 8.5 times 11. I did that just here. That's 8.5. So let's do that. 8.11. I put in 100 pages. I clicked download and then added that here. And as we can see, the interior looks pretty good. And now I can go in and modify this because look, it's broken this up into little lines and I could just add other elements to make it more unique. So again, I hope you see how powerful this Canva update actually is. So if you have Canva and also Creative Fabrica, go over, start trying to find some interiors, then add them into Canva and start making them more unique. Because if we go to here, let's go to graphics, let's go to KDP interiors, we actually have access to a hell of a lot of interiors from Creative Fabrica, especially if you have that membership. Look just here, there's 16,000 results. 16,000 just for KDP interiors. And now we can go in, we can take these interiors, upload them here within Canva, 
and start modifying. Modifying to make unique, because remember, the more unique your designs, your interiors, your books, the better chance you have of actually selling them. Now, if we scroll down to here, again, look, it's broken everything down, which means it's just going to be so simple to actually modify all of these interiors. So go ahead, give it a go if you have Canva and Creative Fabrica. If you don't, there is actually a link for here, Canva Pro, down in the description. I believe it's a 30-day free trial. So if that's something you're interested in as well, go through and check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.